Hello friends, welcome to another new episode of our US series. This time, we'd like to take you through the New York City, the Big Apple. During our unforgettable stay in New York City, we visited the Ground Zero, the site where the twin tower of the old World Trade Center used to stand until 2001. We all know the history. So that was a somber moment. New York City is a city that never sleeps. So we had an opportunity to go up the Rockefeller Center to enjoy the breathtaking view of the New York City skyline. Rockefeller Center is one of the buildings where you can actually stand in open air and you can enjoy the breathtaking view of the New York City without watching through a glass window or obstructed view through a glass. So that was pretty amazing. We very much enjoyed the grandeur of the Grand Central Station. One morning, we stood beside the charging bull of Wall Street, the iconic statue of the famous Wall Street. We also visited the Metropolitan Museum of Art, or simply known as New York's Met. It was a fascinating museum. During our stay, one morning, we took a ferry from Manhattan to the Liberty Island, where the Statue of Liberty stands. It was an amazing ride, a short ferry ride. One side you can see the New York City, and other side the New Jersey, and the Statue of Liberty standing on the Liberty Island. We visited New York City during early July, and on 4th of July, we were very lucky to experience the extraordinary fireworks, the Independence Day fireworks of United States of America. Overall, it was an amazing experience in an amazing city. Hope you will enjoy this video. Our visit to New York began with a stop in Brooklyn, where we had the pleasure of reuniting with our friend Heiko. As we stepped into Heiko's apartment, we were immediately captivated by the breathtaking view it offered. The iconic Brooklyn Bridge stretched gracefully across the East River and beyond it. The Manhattan skyline sparkled in all its majestic glory. It was a sight to be behold. A dazzling testament to the city that never sleeps. Next, we went to Ground Zero in Manhattan to see the new World Trade Center. It was a very serious and sad place, a memorial place. Obviously, we remember the terrible events of September 11, 2001. Standing there, we felt the weight of history and thought about the people who lost their lives on that day. The memorial made us reflect on how New York City had rebuilt itself after that tragedy. It was a place where we thought deeply about hope and how people come together in the tough times. This was our first time in Manhattan. Looking around all the skyscrapers and looking at them from the ground level, it was just spectacular. I had a quick and tasty hot dog. Once in New York, you must try a hot dog. A hot dog is a popular first food item made from a cooked sausage typically served in sliced bun. You have to try one while in New York. So I tried one. It was delicious. That evening, we ventured to Times Square an iconic and dazzling location in the heart of Manhattan. Neon billboards and massive digital screens bud the square in mesmerizing kaleidoscope of lights, creating an electrifying atmosphere. The bustling crowds and the energy of the city that never sleeps came together to form a unique and unforgettable experience. We spent a couple of hours in Times Square. It was just wonderful. So many people, so many lights. We had a wonderful time. Times Square, with its vibrant energy and iconic advertising displays, truly encapsulated the essence of New York's vibrant and dynamic spirit. In the next morning, 
we explored Wall Street, the financial hub of the world, where towering skyscrapers lined the street. Nearby, the Charging Bull statue stood as a symbol of financial optimism and resilience, attracting visitors who sought to capture a moment of prosperity and determination in the heart of New York's financial district. It's kind of a ritual if you're in New York and in Wall Street, you have to take a photo with this bull. So we took one. We hopped on a ferry and sailed to Liberty Island to visit the Statue of Liberty next, which stands as a powerful symbol of freedom. It's situated right between New York and New Jersey, serving as a reminder of unity and shared values. As we approach the island, we couldn't help but notice the colossal statue, a gift from France back in 1886, with its torch raised high to greet us. During our tour, we were immersed into the statue's history and how it was warmly welcomed countless immigrants to the shore of America over the years. Standing in its presence, we couldn't help but be profoundly moved and grateful for the principles it represents in the land of opportunity. Weather was gorgeous in the afternoon and we had an amazing time. We spent a fair bit of time before coming back to Manhattan. Grand Central Station, located in the heart of Manhattan, is a majestic transportation hub to Exodus' timeless elegance. Its iconic architecture and celestial-themed ceiling make it a true architectural gem. Beyond its stunning beauty, it serves as a bustling nexus of trains, subways and a vibrant area of shops and dining establishments, offering both travelers and locals an unforgettable experience in the heart of New York City. It was just wonderful to look around the architecture. We couldn't stop taking photos. A train station so glamorous, probably the most decorated train station we ever seen. The Rockefeller Building itself has a rich history as a prominent part of the city's skyline and offers a unique perspective on the city's growth and development over the years. We took an elevator ride up to the top of the Rockefeller Building called the Top of the Rock for a fantastic view of the New York City. From this high point, we could see the iconic landmarks like the Empire State Building and the Central Park. It was a special experience to witness the city's beauty from such a historic location. Inside the Rockefeller building, we saw some old black and white photos from 1930s. This picture showed us the workers who built the building. It was fascinating to see the people who worked hard to construct this iconic structure and all other structures in the Manhattan and across America.
These photos reminded us of the history and effort that went into making this famous part of the New York City. During our visit to the New York's Metropolitan Museum of Art, we spent a few hours immersed into its treasures. It was an amazing experience, especially getting to see actual paintings by Van Gogh and immersed into the fascinating Egyptian section. While we didn't record any video during our visit, we made sure to capture memories through our photos, ensuring that we have enough photos to remember this incredible museum and our time at the museum. In the evening, we went back to Heiko's apartment to watch the 4th of July fireworks, as we are incredibly lucky to have this experience as we are traveling early July. As the colorful fireworks lit up the sky over New York City, we felt a deep sense of unity and pride in celebrating this important American holiday. The 4th of July is a big deal in US, as it marks the country's independence from British rule in 1776. It's a time for Americans to come together and remember their history, values and the freedom that makes this country so special. The fireworks were not just a beautiful show, but also a powerful symbol of the shared ideals. So friends, this was our time in New York City. We had a brilliant time. Probably this short video will not do any justice to the Big Apple. Stay tuned as we travel to Los Angeles, our last stop for this US trip. Thanks for watching our travel videos.